Hi everyone, welcome back to the Model 3 Man channel. And to those of you who thought, maybe I got COVID and died. Nope, the COVID didn't get me. Maybe I've packed up and gone fishing. Nope, not that one either. Maybe I was converting the courses in my physical school into online courses. Yeah, and that's the one. So what I want to do in this video is very quickly bring you up to date, bring you up to speed, and then let's get going with the channel again, because that is what I'm here to tell you about. So I'm going to try and do something very different. Make a short video, a very short video. This is really just going to be some news headlines. What's been happening in my life so far, where I am right now, and what's going to be happening with respect to the channel, which by the way, is back and going to go forward again stronger than ever. Let's go through some news items very quickly. My special Cavalier King Charles note paper. Isn't that a little cutie? So let's get through these updates and then I can tell you what I have planned for you in the upcoming week. And there's some really good episodes coming up. Number one, first of all, I have, of course, as most of you know, been in the process of converting my physical camera courses, the digital photography school that I run, into online courses. And that conversion has now happened and the store will be opening on Friday. And I will be uploading a special episode here to celebrate that and to introduce you to it for any of you who might be interested in what Model 3 Man has to say about cameras, digital photography, picture development, and so on and so on. Friday, episode coming up on that. Number two, I have a set of power frunk struts and I'm going to be installing those. Many of you will remember when I installed the power trunk struts and it's been working for the entire year beautifully, never a hiccup. So I'm going to try it on the frunk. And some of you have done it before, others have thought about doing it. Is it worth it? Well, I'll do it in the weekend and we will upload that episode probably on Sunday. Number three, the full self-driving beta that's been out for a while. As all of you knew and as I feared, it's not coming to Canada, at least not yet. It went out to folks in the USA who are careful drivers. Of course, we've all been looking at the videos and watching the feedback from those who were fortunate enough to have full self-driving beta. But I've been detecting some interesting patterns. Two of them are very, very positive. One of them is very disturbing. So we'll be looking at the behavior of full self-driving beta, where it is right now, how it's progressing, because it is, it's never standing still. But there's one thing that really concerns me. And we're going to be looking at that on Monday next week. My assessment of all of the combined video feedback that we've been experiencing from those lucky enough to have FSD beta. And of course, the good news is that it's not going to be long before it's introduced to a wider audience, and that would include us in Canada here, where we can all get a chance to try it. But I thought that this is important enough to give you my assessment, since I have a series on full self-driving, and this is an assessment of the beta that is being used right now. Number four, I finally got my iPhone 12 Pro Max. And for those of you who are on Android, on Samsung or something else, it won't excite you. But for a lot of us, the iPhone series has been what we've lived with for years. I remember sleeping in the street to get to be the first on the day of a new iPhone release. I had my I had blankets and I had a little stool and I literally slept out in the street to be first in line to get an iPhone. That's crazy. Really? I did it? I did. Here's the picture to prove it. The new iPhones. This was the scene outside Pacific Center in downtown Vancouver tonight. Some people actually have been camping out since last night. There's something appealing about a bigger phone that you can actually read more clearly and you can use it for a lot more apps. The new iPhones go on sale tomorrow morning at I just received the iPhone 12 Pro Max and this is an incredible upgrade if you're a photographer. If we're looking at photography, videography, this is a must have. First of all, Dolby Video. Secondly, HDR. Thirdly, a larger sensor on the main camera. Fourthly, a telephoto lens that is now 2.5x which actually makes 
quite a significant difference. And there are lots of others. Uh, larger sensor leads to lower digital noise. That's great. So I'm thinking of doing an episode, and this will not be for all of you. I know that you won't all be interested, but I'm sure there are enough of you to warrant that. And here, full disclaimer, product alert, Nomad were kind enough to send me iPhone 12 Pro Max cover in leather. Uh, it's a pretty cool affair because it's got two slots there for you to put your uh, credit card, perhaps driver's license, and then the phone's there. Uh, fits beautifully. It's absolutely gorgeous. You remember that I did a review before on Nomad, and um, let me just go and get that standby. And some months ago, I reviewed a number of their products, including this one, which was for my AirPods Pro. And it's a leather cover, still absolutely brilliant. And there's not a sign of wear and tear. This is a beautifully made piece of equipment. And so is the cover for the phone. So I wanted to mention that until the 2nd of December, which is two days time, until midnight, uh, there's a 30% site-wide discount on everything Nomad. They've also mentioned that in some of the collections they have, it's going to be 40% off. So if you're interested at all, uh, link is below. Jump onto their website, do it within the next two days, and benefit by 30% discount on everything. That is a site-wide discount. Number five, I've had Red Dragon coming up soon for exactly two and a half years. 12, 24, 30, 30 months. That's a long time. What I wanted to do was I wanted to take stock of what I have had to do, what aspects of the car have caused any problems over the last two and a half years. Has it cost me? How much, if it has? What's the state of my tires? Is the tread right down to the canvas? Join me next week at Wednesday for an episode in which I look at everything that needed to be done outside of the accident, which of course, was beyond anyone's control. But I'll be looking at maintenance issues, aspects that were faulty, things that I had to get repaired, and any cost that was associated with that. That will be next week around Wednesday. And then finally, number six, software updates. I've had two since the last video that I uploaded. What I'm gonna be doing is taking it, putting it through its paces. Right now as we speak, 2020.44.25 is busy being installed. I walk out in a few minutes from now and it should be done. I'm going to take a look at any improvements and any differences and any, any changes that might have happened. Remember, this is not the FSD beta. It's just the regular updates that all of us gain over time um, outside of this major FSD beta quantum leap. So we'll take a look at that. So that's it. I said it would be short and all I wanted to do was to tell you that I'm alive. COVID still didn't get me. I put a sign on my front door that said COVID viruses do not enter. And they didn't. So for now, that's all for today. And thank you very much. And I look forward to all of these episodes that I've talked about, which are all going to be going up in this coming week. So thanks again for your ongoing support of the channel. Thank you to those who've donated through PayPal. Love you guys. Love what it's allowed me to do. And I'm looking forward now to being back properly. That's it. See you again in the next episode.